Hi, uh, in this video we'll talk about redundant URLs within Shopify, which creates a huge problem for SEO. Because instead of having one canonical URL, you have multiple ones, and uh, no matter how hard you're trying to tell Google which URL is the main one, Google still is confused which one to index and promote. So let me show you why and what to do. Uh, we've created this product here, Body Moisturizer, and here's the, our pretty URL, yeah? Uh, this is our website, then products. You cannot change this part as an integral part of Shopify store. So what we can change only here is this part. So the URL slug. Okay, we've created that and we have this pretty URL. Okay, we can access any of this product under this URL, no problem. So let me go to the live website and paste it to the uh, URL. And okay, voila, here we are. At the same time, we put this product into corresponding collections, into categories. So like in my case, it's shop all and face and body. And guess what? Uh, whenever we go to that product, the category page here, face and body, and we hover over the same product, suddenly it appears under a different URL, which will be, uh, which will be like that. And then will be like that. And also like that. So instead of having one URL, we already have four. Okay, so and that's all confusing. And um, instead of having all these multiple ways of finding the same product, we want um, everything within our website to link only to this one canonical URL. Okay, how we do that? Uh, let me go to the Shopify admin area. So I'm in the back end of uh, my store and I'm going to online store here. And um, obviously I need to choose the theme that I'm editing. This is my theme and I'm going to actions here. Under actions, let me go to edit code. You have multiple uh, folders here under, under the code section, yeah? You have layouts, you have templates, you have sections and snippets. So the snippets folder is the one that we are interested in. So let me click snippets to unfold it. And the file that we are looking for called product uh, grid uh, item. This one, product grid item dot liquid. Let me click it. Within this, yeah, within this uh, file, we need to look for a record like this. Mm -hmm. href product URL within collection. So what we want to do is to delete all that part within collection. Okay, let me repeat it. So we want to delete it, all this part. Gone. Okay, make sure that you have space in the beginning and after that before, uh, after before the brackets. Okay, let me save this file. And let me go back to my live website. Now, whenever I refresh this page and I hover over the same product here, which is Body Moisturizer, it will appear, let me copy link location and paste it here so you will see, it will appear only like this one. Let me be clear, all these URLs are not gone. So you can still access the same product under any of these URLs, but they are not linked from any other sources within my website, unless I intentionally manually did it. So there is no way for Google to crawl these URLs. So the only canonical URLs that we have right now is this one. And uh, yeah, that's the URL that will be indexed and promoted. Hope it makes sense. Uh, please uh, let me know in the comments if it's helpful. Thank you for watching.